Well, millions of families flock to beaches this time of year to soak in the sun and wade in the water. And while most people are aware of sunburn and drowning risks, there are some other hazards that you might want to consider. And Dr. Malika Marshall is here with us. And Doctor, we're not just talking about sharks. We are not talking about sharks no. today. We're talking about some other things that you're probably more likely to encounter. So whether you're going to like a freshwater lake or a pond or you're going to a saltwater ocean, mm -hmm. there are some things to keep in mind. You can get gastroenteritis from polluted waters that often causes belly pain and vomiting and nausea. You can get skin infections from MRSA like staph or um, flesh-eating bacteria. Swimmer's ear, a lot of people mm, come back and right. say I've been swimming and they have pain and discharge from their ear or obviously you can get wounds from walking around barefoot for, mm -hmm. so from glass or shells stings and needles so these are just things to be aware of as hazards and you have tips on how to protect yourself from infectious uh, infections and other potential problems as well and you say look for the signs at the beach pay right. attention to those there are signs there for a reason yeah. they really are there to warn you about yeah. things like bacteria about riptides about a strong surf so, um, if you have young kids you should know that there's no life good Guard on duty, and there, and obviously signs for sharks we're seeing increasingly. Yeah. So um, the EPA does have a website where you can check on conditions at local beaches before you go, just to right. see if there are any things to look out for. And we used to say, you know, it just isn't a vacation until someone throws up. So how do you <laughs> prevent a stomach illness? Okay, obviously you want to try to avoid swallowing the water. Yeah. So you might need a, a reminder for your children. And then after you get out of the water, make sure you wash your hands or use sanitizing mm -hmm. wipes before you eat. Right. How about skin infections and wounds? Because very very often little kids are running around you cut your foot on a shell or something exactly like that. so we talked about swimmers here so you might want to consider earplugs mm -hmm. um, protective footwear they do make those swim shoes that yes, you can buy yep. for yourselves or for your kids and then an open wound for some reason people think if I hope have an open wound and I get into the ocean it's gonna clean it I've Doctors heard that used repeatedly to say salt water would help yeah no. no I mean there are all Old kinds of tail. microbes in yeah. in the water whether it's salt water or fresh water so if you have an open wound stay out of the water and then when you get home from the beach make sure you wash off you want to cover it up and what about well you know we saw that just this week you got to check the forecast before you leave to head look what happened at the cave right. with those tornadoes. Two tornadoes crazy so yes check your forecast make sure that yeah. there aren't lightning strikes in the area high tides you can try to find out what the UV index is so you can figure out if you're gonna get a sunburn mm -hmm. um, and then the heat index as well yeah what SPF do you which do you recommend for most people? I would say for most people an SPF of 50, of 50. that covers right. UVA and UVB rays. So, so slather on the sunscreen. Carefully. Dr. Malika Marshall, thanks so much. You're and of welcome. course you can watch Dr. Malika every day on WBZ News and always here on CBSBoston.com.